this is kasturi de speaking on the uh, plant and animal tissues it's a continuation of that chapter and i'll be i'll be today dealing with animal tissues according to icc syllabus class 7 uh, if you have any queries please to ask it in my email id and uh, um, if you uh, uh, like this video please subscribe uh animal tissues are of uh different types the first is epithelial tissue epithelial tissue forms a thin protective layer of cells it covers the surface of the body it forms the lining of various body cavities and internal organs cells may be flat cuboidal or columnar in shape on the basis of the shape of the cells the epithelial tissues are of four types there are squamous epithelium cuboidal epithelium columna and ciliated epithelium squamous epithelium is composed is composed of thin flattened and polygonal cells for example the cells of the outer layer of the skin they are usually protective in function they, they look like this type of Uh, arrangement is there in the squamous epithelium now the cuboidal epithelium is composed of cube like cells example inner wall lining of the kidney tubules and uh, they usually concerned with the absorption cuboid shaped they are columnar epithelium they are composed of vertically arranged uh, tall and cylindrical or columnar like cells and um, example are inner lining of the stomach and intestine they are usually secretory in function they secrete juices okay now the ciliated epithelium they are composed of columnar epithelium which have which has uh, developed cilia the cells of the columnar epithelium columnar cells they uh, which have developed cilia they perform they form the columnar epithelium the cilia keeps lashing and moves the substances in its con contact for example it, they are present in the inner lining of the windpipe and oviduct now that we come to connective tissue it connects various other tissues and organs provides support to different organs to keep them in proper position now co connective tissues are of different types like supportive connective tissues they are of some different types like cartilage now cartilage and bone okay now cartilage it covers the ends of the bones they give support to certain organs tip of the nose external projection of the ear and windpipe they consist of a clear ground substance that is the matrix which contain a large number of spaces each occupied by one or more cells now the bone they are main supportive structure of the vertebrates the cells are embedded in a hard matrix of calcium and phosphorus salts the matrix is deposited in the form of concentric layers around a central canal cells occupy small spaces they look like this this is the cartilage uh, this is the matrix you can see these are the cartilage cells that is they are called chondrocytes chondrocytes okay these are the lacuna this is the lacuna and these are the empty cells which do not contain the nucleus these are the nucleus which uh, are present in the chondrocytes now this is the uh, cross section of the uh, bone cell these have harvesian canals these these are the hyvation canal this is the matrix this is a hard matrix you can see okay now we come to another connective tissue that is the fibrous tissue fibrous connective tissue this serve for packing and binding of most of the organs like areolar tissue adipose tissue tendons and ligaments 
okay the areola tissue they bind the skin to the underlying tissues okay adipose tissue they contain cells filled with fat globules the store energy serves as a great cushioning for organs and other more delicate tissues and act as a sort of insulation for our body now tendons connects uh, muscles to bones at the joints now ligaments they are they connect a bone to another bone at the joints this is tendon is bone to muscle muscle to bone and ligament is bone to bone now fluid connective tissue this is another connective tissue this is a fluid connective tissue this is concerned with the transportation of substances like glucose amino acids oxygen etc fluid connective tissue are of two types blood and lymph okay blood is composed of both liquid and cellular parts the liquid part is the, in the blood is the plasma and the cellular part includes red blood cells white blood cells and platelets the red blood cells are also called red blood corpuscles and white blood cells are also called white blood corpuscles okay now we come to lymph now lymph is another connective uh, it's a connective fluid connective tissue it's a fluid surrounding the body cells essentially the plasma with some leukocyte or white blood cell that have oozed out of the blood capillaries they form the lymph lacks red blood cells and platelets they do not have red blood cell and platelets now we come to muscular tissue muscular tissue are of three types striated muscles unstriated and cardiac muscles muscular tissue forms the muscles of the body the muscles can contract and relax and so help the body in all its movements and locomotion okay now the striated muscles skeletal striated or voluntary muscles they are found attached to the bones are under the they are under the control of the will of an individual okay they are voluntary that is why and uh, they constitute about 40% of the body weight the common places where they, we can find these such muscles are arms legs face neck etc for example the muscles in our arm move only when we want now unstriated muscles they are smooth they are unstriped and they are involuntary they are under they are not under our control they are composed of the slender tapering cells muscles of the iris in the eye and those in the urinary wall bladder they are unstriped muscles for example movements like passage of the food in the alimentary canal are caused by the contraction of the unstriated muscles in the intestinal walls now the cardiac muscles the heart muscles they are involuntary muscles they are of different kinds they are striated as and comparatively short striated but they are involuntary now they are branched they are found only in the walls of the heart they can contract without outside stimulation and never get tired in the person's lifetime see this is the striated muscle how they look like these are the unstriated muscles and this is the cardiac muscle how they look like okay now there are uh, nervous tissue we come to nervous tissue the it constitute the nervous system they are made up of elongated cells called neurons and each nerve cell consists of a cell body the cyton containing the nucleus and one or more elongated hair like extension called dendrites or dendrons one of the one of these uh, uh, dendrite grow long which uh, very long rather which is called axon and sometimes it may grow to 1 meter axons bundle together and form a nerve form a nerve okay this is the picture of a nerve cell it look like this this is the cell body the cyton these are the dendrons which come out 
okay and one of them become longer to form the axon okay now this is the node of ranvier these are the myelin sheath okay and the break the myelin sheath break in between this the break the gap in between two myelin sheath is known as node of ranvier this is the nerve fiber which is covered by the myelin sheath okay this uh, the impulse travels in this way this is a motor nerve ending in the muscle this is the motor nerve uh, it's a picture of a motor nerve and these end into the muscles okay and these axons they bundle together to form a nerve okay this is the end of the chapter tissue will come with the next chapter okay is the classification of the plant we will come to with the next chapter according to icc syllabus class 7 okay now if you have any query please do uh, contact me at my email id it's kasturi74 at the rate gmail.com and if you like the video please do subscribe thank you